this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and we're here with another demonstration with our alcohol inks and Yepo card today. So um, I've picked a couple of colours. I'm going to use some dark colours today. I need um, this to be quite an intense colour um, and that's simply because when I take the print uh, I'm hoping to use some white embossing powder over the top. So to make that stand out I want the background to be quite dark. So that's the reason why I'm going to be using the dark colours today. So we've got oregano, eggplant and currant. So I'm going to do this slightly differently. Um, I have done this before where I just put it straight on to the card like this and then we're going to just use that's the alcohol blending solution a little more just to blend it to the edge okay and now I want this to come down so I'm just going to pour the blending solution and just drip that down it just sort of creates legs and then I'm just dotting Okay, so I'm just going to give that a little dry. A little bit more. Okay. So we have quite a lot of dark colours going on on there. Am I thinking that's dry now? Yeah. So now we need our alcohol lift. And I'm going to use our cream card again. And as I've said before, we need to act quite quickly when we've put the alcohol lift ink on, just two or three swipes with the uh, brayer just to make sure it's completely covered but as soon as you put the alcohol lift ink on it, it starts moving the colours underneath so we need to put the multifarious card on very quickly. So I'll just put a line of lift at the top there and then drag that down and put that straight on top smooth that over and then let's see what we've got that's fabulous, that's great that's nice and dark and um, so that means whatever I emboss now on top it will really stand out. Okay so our background here is now completely dry I'm just going to trim that down the 
rest of that's fine. Um, I've got some colours here to sort of match what I'm going to be uh, blending on top of this. Um, I am going to be using Jayla. I know that you've seen me use him before. Um, he is one of my favourites, so uh, bear with me. I am going to emboss him uh, in white though. So just a slightly different technique. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to darken this uh, background even more so. Okay, so I'll probably start, yeah, I'll start with the grey. So I'm literally just going to start going around the edge. just building up that depth of colour. Now I've decided I'm going to be putting JLR here so this is the area I want to be more sort of dark so he will stand out being white then. So okay, so I'm going to bring in some of the blue now. Oh, we've got a pad missing on that. I don't know what happened there. That's fine. We'll just go on to the uh, plum, which I'd already picked anyway, so that's fine. I'll see if I can find a blue. So these colours actually work really well with um, the colours that I had picked with the alcohol. Um, I think I'd used a uh, currant and eggplant on this one. Okay, let me just have a look, see if I can find a blue. A blue that has a pad in, yes. Okay. So just take your time with this and be nice and light handed and just in circular motions just blend the colour box together. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with that now. So I would m always make sure that that is completely dry. So I'm just going to use my heat gun and go over the top of that. Because the thing is with embossing powder, it does tend to stick to anything that's slightly damp or wet. Um, so if I dry, off that background completely. Hopefully the embossing powder won't stick to anything else. Okay, so I think we're good to go on that now. So we're going to need our Versamark and I've picked um, opaque bright white 
regular WOW embossing powder. So I need my rather large Perspex block so we can fit JLR on. So I'm going to just have him about here, hopefully. So he's well and truly stuck on, so I'm just going to use the Versamark now and cover. him in the, uh, the clear glue. It's, I, I suppose it is a kind of glue really. Just make sure it's completely covered. And then we're going to pop him down about there. So good press. And I'm hoping it's going to give us the detail. But we can try it anyway see how it comes out. I've not tried this before so okay well so far so good I'll just pop this back in before it goes everywhere Now let's see how well he comes up. Now he's just starting to go and that white's really standing out so I'm pleased with how it's going. That's great, that's perfect. That is really standing out against that background. We can add a little bit more colour uh, if we want. So I'll just put those to the side. I'm going to stamp up a couple of other things. So I've got my little sea urchins here. I'm going to ink up in the twilight. And then just pop those down the bottom there. Give that a good press. And there's our lovely sea urchins. And I'm going to pop a little bit of the seaweed along there as well. So I need to just mask off that area and pop the seaweed over the top. So I'm going to ink up again in the twilight. I'm going to take off the first impression and then just pop that down the side. Good press. And there we go. And I'll 
and do a little this side as well. Perfect. Okay. So going back to our colour box. I'm going to pick the blue and just rub that over the top. And it's just made it stand out that, that much more just by adding a little bit of colour. So I'm going to dry that off, make sure it is completely dry. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more with the stencil now. So again I'm going to go back to the blue and this time I'm going to just add a little bit of the mica powder as well. Just think how I'm going to do this. Just pop a bit down. So I'm picking up a lot of colour and I'm also picking up a little bit of the mica. And let's see if we can get this to work. I should really try these things before I put them on camera, shouldn't I? But um, <laughs> never mind. I'm just hoping it will work. Let's have a little look. Oh, yes, that's looking all right. Yeah, you can actually see the micas coming through on that, so that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen, luckily for me. <laughs> um, okay, so all I'm going to do now is go around the very edge of the card. So I want quite a dark colour, so let's have a look, see how we get on with the grey. See if that's dark enough for us. Yeah, I think so. And this will just kind of frame it, pull your eyes into the centre. Okay, so I'm hoping that you can see that bit of mica just through coming through the stencil that I put down. Okay, so lastly I'm just going to pop a little bit of glitter down. Um, if I can find my glue pen. 
There we go. So let's just give the jellyfish a little bit of glitter as well, making it our focal point. Okay, and we're going to use the holographic glitter. So just sprinkle that over the top when you want a little, just to give it that lift. And there we go. I think he works really well with the white emboss actually, I like it just something different anyway so I just wanted to share that with you so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, take care and see you really soon bye for now